Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you this awesome shampoo recipe that you can add to your regimen to help you on your hair growth journey. Now, this shampoo is going to keep your scalp really nice and clean while retaining moisture in your hair and also your natural oils, which is what we want from a great shampoo, right? Not something that is so stripping. So, if you're interested in today's video, please make sure you you keep on watching and i suggest you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful instructions so to begin with you are going to cut one whole onion being red or white onion next we're going in here with some ginger as well so cut it into smaller pieces and pop it in the same bowl next we're going in with some aloe vera and then you're going to blend the whole thing together until you have a somewhat nice and smooth consistency now some of you guys probably watched the video that i posted recently and that's basically me making this part of the video so if you want you can skip this part and move on to the next essentially so after you've strained and gotten the juice out of this that's what we're going to be needing for today's recipe so you're going to take that juice or spray and pop it in a little container that you're going to now mix with your other ingredients to get the shampoo so or you can keep part of this if you want to to use as a spray uh, just like i did in the other video so next we're going in with some pure castile soap and this one contains peppermint and it's so great on the scalp. Honestly, it's so refreshing. Oh, I just love it so much. Um, so I'm going to add a few tablespoons of this castile soap. If you haven't got this, guys, it's okay to use black soap as well if that's all you've got available. But I will link this particular one in the description box down below. I got this from Amazon. So stir that in nicely until it's nice and combined. And then next, we're going to go in with some bicarbonate of soda or baking soda so baking soda really wipes everything clean honestly like it's just great like that and it's quite stripping as well so that's why you have to be mindful of how much of this you're putting in your shampoo so i will be putting just this amount for this quantity of shampoo and the reason why that is because i just want it to clean my scalp like to remove all of the dirt and impurities and all of this stuff without necessarily like drying it too much now i really love this particular shampoo essentially just because it's got some great moisturizing agents in it as well like aloe vera and ginger which is just amazing and apart from that it also can help to stimulate new hair growth based on off of those ingredients as well like onion ginger and aloe vera that we put in it earlier so mix everything well until it's nice and combined and then we're just going to pop it in an applicator bottle or if you've got like a particular bottle that you use for shampoo please feel free to use that as well and then that's it you're pretty much ready to use this now this can store in your fridge for up to three weeks if you want to guys or you can freeze it and just defrost and allow it to cool down a bit uh, not cool down but like to get to room temperature before you go ahead and use it and it's just as as amazing as a shampoo can get really so um i'm going to show you in the next slide how i'm using this and you can see how much of an effect this has on my hair okay guys so i parted my hair into four sections just to make it just a little bit easier to work with you guys saw in the video that i posted just before this one when i was making um that hair growth spray um, essentially i applied it to my hair and allowed it to sit for about 45 minutes to an hour just like i said to you guys in that video and i told you guys to shampoo that out of your hair um after it sat around for a little bit essentially so this is just a continuation of that video so i'm using this shampoo here to um to shampoo my hair essentially so apply it to your scalp and just like you would normally apply shampoo to your hair essentially if you were in the shower you would wet your hair a little bit and then just go ahead and apply this now make sure you massage your scalp as well because it helps to get rid of you know all the dirt and stuff but also it helps to um you know increase the blood flow now the moment this hits your scalp honestly it's so refreshing honestly it feels so good 
now because of the peppermint and the ginger that we've got in this it gives you that kind of warm tingly feeling on your scalp which is quite refreshing and also you know that it's doing what it's supposed to do because that just helps to improve the blood flow to the area and helps you know with hair growth essentially now you know when you apply like vapor rub on your on your chest for example when you got cold that kind of feeling that you get that's the same kind of feeling that you get as well when you apply this to your scalp guys so it's that good and it also cleanses your scalp and your hair very very well so make sure you massage that in really nicely and after i finish doing that guys i'm just going to twist this section of my hair and move on to the next i'm going to repeat that until the rest of my hair is completely done once i finished it i would leave it to sit in my hair for a little bit just because i really love that feeling that i was getting from this um you know that kind of pepperminty um kind of tingly feeling on, on on my scalp i really really loved that and i allowed it to sit for a little bit before i went ahead and rinsed this off of my hair Now notice that I'm not applying this to the ends of my hair per se and that's just because it's just a habit guys like when I shampoo my hair I tend not to apply shampoo to the ends of my hair. It's something that I've done since the beginning of my hair growth journey and it's just something that I do out of habit really um, and I just think it helps to prevent you know dryness, um, excess dryness from the shampoo essentially because i feel like when you rinse the shampoo off your scalp it kind of goes through your hair anyways and you know it kind of cleanses that part as well but yeah if you're one of those that shampoo all of your hair like the from the roots all the way to the tips please please feel free to do that for me i'm not doing it here just like i said it's just our habit um but Either way, I'm still getting some of that uh, shampoo on my ends anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter. But I just thought I'd mention it because I know someone will probably ask in the comment section down below why I'm not applying it to the rest of my hair as well. But just like I said, I use this spray anyways beforehand throughout my hair, including the ends, just to, um, to pre-poo, just like I said earlier. Um, so I do have the product on my on, on, on the rest of my hair anyways so go ahead and rinse this off guys and after you rinse it off i tell you your hair will be so soft like it feels so good it's going to be super soft um and your scalp will be quite nice and clean i'm going to show you guys what my hair and scalp kind of look like uh, in just a little bit So this is my hair after it's been washed and uh, yeah this is what it looks like you can see it's pretty nice and soft it's not stiff um, which is great you can get that kind of stiffness sometimes from some shampoo especially if they've got sulfate in it um, but yeah it's got quite a lot of bounce to it because it's just super super soft and I really love it obviously follow through with your conditioner as you would normally and then the rest of your wash day routine and that's pretty much it i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching today's video if you did please thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already i would really appreciate um, your support guys and also share the video if you liked it and then i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching guys until next time bye